the 1920s was a big growing period for, for Narva. And I think in response to um, maybe, shall we say, some of the haphazard development that was going on, it's like, you know, basically have little bits, little bits of property, people are, de are de developing it all in, in different ways. There was an intent, I think, to, with, with the, the creation of Narva Park to try to do something cohesive. But it was, it's hard to do something cohesive when you, own, when you don't own much. I mean, you have to own a good piece of land to do something that is, you know, broader in, in terms of scope and vision. So with, with Narva Park, there was a group uh, that was able to purchase six contiguous lots, or pieces of land, and then develop it in a unified way. So this is the 1908 map on the left, which of uh, the area that would become Narva Park. And you can see where it says Berkeley. So there was a notion, there was a, 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 an idea of, of gridding this out and, and really planning it the way most of the rest of the borough was getting planned. Homewood Street, which, which would have come up, up into Windsor, now Homewood only exists up a little higher. But so they basically scrapped this, and then rather than, than trying to, to lay a, a, a linear grid system on a landscape, the, the whole emphasis here was to try to work with, with the, uh, the landscape, let the landscape help dictate how you lay out a town or how you lay out a, a community. And there were some others that had been done in advance of this. Um, and I think, you know, again, I don't have the smoking gun for this, but I think one of the things that was in the back of their mind when they were playing Narva Park is looking at, at South, South Narva. Because, all right, so here, the, the darker section. That's the 1896 maps, all right? So that's the way the south side looked in 1896. The lighter gray is the, the 1908 overlay. So by 1908, they had, they had plotted all that out. They had begun to build houses. You can see a number of houses spotted throughout uh, Ch Chestnut and then the Marion Avenue. Then you'll also see a stream running, running through it. So basically, in order to create that grid, they had to blow through that, that stream. So the stream probably got that buried. <laughs> Everything got got level to create more, more level building lots. And with, with this all having happened, I think that's one of the reasons why they wanted to, to really do a demonstration project in Narva Park to show what might be possible if you used a different design thought. 